Hi, my name is Sean Gold, I'm a two-time world team member, former national team member. Welcome to Gymnastics Progressions. In this segment of Gymnastics Progressions, we're going to focus on three events, ball, bars, and floor, and we're going to focus on one particular skill that gets you from the beginning all the way to the end. And I want to show the power of why these basics are very important as you progress to more advanced gymnastics. With me, I have U of H gymnastics team helping me, and this is U of H team captain, Haley. Hi, I'm Haley. Uh, this is my fourth year on the team, and I'm an all-arounder. Hi, my name is Raquel Chavez. This is my second year on the team, and I'm also an all-arounder. Okay, so this is a perfect time to start shaping that handstand position. And I like doing it on the floor first. So, you're going to have your athlete on the floor. They're going to try and press their ribs in, tuck that lower back onto the floor right there. Ribs all the way pressed in, and they're going to try to get their wrists touching the floor, completely opening. Imagine there's a wall right here, and they're trying to press their arms into the wall while keeping their ribs down here, lower back here. And just hold that for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. We're going to work on the run, jump, arm straight up. We're going to do this two different ways. One is with the arm straight up. The other one, she's going to do with her arms in front. The reason we're going to do it two different ways is because the rules say that your arms have to be up in the air going into the handstand. But we're also going to work it going this way, and you'll see why. We're going to go through a push-up position, which gets you turned over to the front handspring faster. So that's more for technique, but we also want to accommodate what the rules tell you you need to do. Now we're getting into the wall handstands. We've already done it on a flat surface on the floor. Now we're going to go on a different flat surface on the wall. Now it's okay if their, hip, their wrists are away from the wall initially. You want to try to get those hips pressed up against the wall, even if the feet come off a little bit. And eventually they're going to try to get their wrists closer and closer to the wall until they're completely flat. This wall drill, Haley is going to go through a push-up position onto a mat from a step. As you know, handstands are the theme for this ball exercise. So, level three, you want to continue with the wall handstand. Handstands are something you never get away from and only improve on in gymnastics. And so their wrist should be getting closer and closer to the wall through this level. All right, in level three, we're going to start introducing some Yurchenko work, okay? It's a really basic drill. The buddies are something you can just have on the side station so that they're there ready for the girls. And you can use the buddy, you can choose not to use the buddy. Again, I like to use the buddy to make sure they're staying tall. And then they have a foam block, and she's gonna rebound down and up. Staying nice and tall and tight the whole time. Of course, when we get to the Yurchenkos, you want a tight board contact, so this is just preparing for that. Now we're advancing our handstand away from the wall and getting a little bit more independent. Some gyms have a half wall like this. And sometimes you have to create a half wall with panel mats. This time we have Haley doing a handstand, but I'm going to add the buddies. So I'm going to put one in here. And then, of course, the other one goes on the other side. And again, she just wants to stay tall, keeping them. If she relaxes, then they're going to fall. And that's pretty much why I use the buddies. They can stay nice and tall through the handstand. This is a nice lock and draw I like to do. Again, if you want to use the buddy, you can. I always try and reinforce with the buddy when I get it, but it's your choice. Uh, and what Haley's going to do is she's going to go handstand, hop, hop. She's going to add a hop and then forward roll out of it. The reason why I want Haley to forward roll out of it is because when they don't think about forward rolling out of it, they cut it short and you see this really angle of lock, lock. And that's something that I'm trying to get away from. We're going to focus a little bit more on your chankos in level four. Uh, we're going to go down a cheese. Usually you will go up something, but I'm focusing more on body positioning than I am going up something. So we're going to go down. Once you get that concept later, you'll see how we'll start going up. Okay. Uh, this is something that they're going to use the buddy for. And again, this series is on handstand positioning. So the handstand shape is what we're really trying to master, locking off the hands and getting turned over. 
The level five handstand is just pretty much going to be a progression from level four. You want to get a smaller panel mat, and Haley's going to do the same thing. And we're just going to work the panel mat down little by little until eventually she doesn't have the panel mat anymore. We did this in previous drills, but in level five, we're going to reinforce that jump to push up, trying to get to the table faster. And eventually, she'll get higher and higher going through the push up position, handstand flat back. As you can see, she's getting through that shape to a tall handstand. There are a lot of things that contribute to a strong block. Run speed, forward angle when you hit it, but this series is focusing on handstand. So she's tall, nice and tall through her handstand shape, and the taller that handstand is, the stronger that handstand is, the bigger the block is going to be. Make sure you're doing all the handstand work up until this point. Level five, we want to start going up the cheese mat. So you already saw us go down the cheese mat. Now we're going to work on leaning and getting tight into the cheese mat and then half that hand spring. Go ahead and try to get our hands around this line or maybe a little bit higher, depending on the height of the jump. So at this point, they should be able to maintain a nice tall shape here, hips tucked under. And if you want to still use the buddy, you can. You want to really start increasing that block through the handstand. So work on blocking from table to mats and then increase the mat so they're getting up higher and higher. This next row, Raquel's going to go round off that handspring up three eight inches, just transitioning more into the Yachanka work. But before she does that, let's go to what she's going to focus on. What she's going to focus on is blocking through the shoulders, staying tall here, staying straight in the hips after she blocks, getting to the standing push-up position. We're going through the shoulders, right here, staying straight through here the whole time from hands to feet, chest getting up immediately. This next one may seem a little bit more unorthodox, but it's pretty much the same drill. The only difference is she's going to have the buddies in between her arms here, making sure she's tall through the block. You don't have to use it for every kid, but if there's a kid who's still not staying tall through the handstand, you can reinforce it this way. Now we're doing everything we can to strengthen that handstand position and increase the blocking position. So right now, Haley is going to do handstand hops on the springboard. This is something you can do with the girls. You can do it about 25 times at a time with the girls and something you can just incorporate as they circle around in their circuit. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, you can use a buddy as they're in their handstand position and hop 25 times, making sure they don't lose the buddy. What Raquel is going to do is handstand hops on tumble track. They're going to be consecutive. And again, we're going to focus on getting tall through that block and shape, and you can use buddies for this. The level seven vault, now one year away from competing in Yuchenko. What we're gonna focus on is the block angle, getting tall through the handstand, up vertical. And what Haley is gonna do, she's actually gonna land on her feet, but in level seven, we're gonna train going to the stomach first. Then you work on knees and then going up to stand. That's going into the next level. In level eight, we're gonna get more into the Yuchenko stuff, which you'll see. But you also want to continue with this station, getting faster and faster back into it. At this point, their handstand should be pretty developed, pushing tall through here. So try and get more and more speed back there. It should be pretty easy for them because their shoulders should be strong enough at this point. This is a double board drill I like to use. Underneath this panel mat are two spring boards on an angle, sitting on a panel mat. And there's a block behind that. This is something I like to use so I can get a lot of repetitive work out of the girls without pounding their joints over and over again. Now we're going to develop this drill a little bit more, blocking off of our hands into a layout and then into other shapes, but really getting through that handstand position tall so that we can progress onto more of the football. Thank you for watching Gymnastics Progressions. If you'd like to show any support for the U of H Gymnastics team, you can follow us on our social media, which is Coog Club Gym. That's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And we are also making a big facility push right now. So we would love to get any donations possible um, straight to our school or to our club. And that will help us get our own facility.